What's it like to get sick in the Philippines? I'm not talking about heart problems, uh, bigger issues. I'm talking about contracting fevers, etc. So I've been in the Philippines almost two years now. And today was the second time um, that I contracted a fever. And it's exactly, the symptoms were exactly the same as roughly this time last year. And those symptoms were diarrhea, starts off with diarrhea. Your stomach begins to ache. The, the diarrhea becomes water-like eventually, and you've still got an aching stomach. Um, a temperature follows perhaps a headache. I had a temperature plus a headache. So I've been in bed all day, roughly speaking. Exactly the same as last year. And then something funny happened. <clears throat> I started to sneeze. There was nothing funny in that. You know, I was vaping and maybe some of the vape went up my nose, so I, I sneezed about seven, eight times, and then suddenly I knew I was gonna vomit. Now, back home in the UK, I very rarely vomited. Sure, if you had a, a gastric flu, or a bug, or whatever, you know, maybe every five, six, seven, eight years, I might vomit. Yes, I get a fever, but not the vomit, but here, <clears throat> in two years, twice, now, my wife last night um, got the diarrhea and she vomited. So could it be what we ate? Well, we ate French fries that we cooked ourselves and some frozen fish and breadcrumbs from Thailand, which we've had before and there was never a problem. So it could be there was something wrong with that fish, and I won't be buying that again. Or when we went to the shopping mall, perhaps we caught something from someone. So it's just something to watch out for. Now, to stop the vomiting, I vomited about four times. And my wife told me to take some of this. I don't know if you can see, what's it called? Balsamo Carminativo, sounds Italian. Anti flatulent. It's vile. But she said, take a spoonful and a half of that, which I did, and I didn't feel queasy any longer. Plus, my diarrhea had stopped. So you're going to get these things, you know, it's part and parcel. You're coming to a tropical country. Maybe you'll eat the wrong thing and you'll get it, you know, food poisoning that way. Or you'll catch it from someone innocently in, in a shopping mall or wherever. But it's funny, twice now, totally identical symptoms. So I only, I've been in bed all day, sleeping, in fact I didn't even know what day it was, I thought it was Saturday, and for, I'm lucky, thank God it happened today, Friday, because tomorrow, which is Saturday, we have a lovely brownout for eight hours, and then Sunday, we have a lovely brownout for eight hours, Which is great if you've got a temperature and you want to be in the cold. So, just a word to the wise. Be prepared. You know, I don't really care how um, careful you are in terms of what you eat and what you don't eat. Or where you go. You, you're likely to catch something like this. It's a gastric, like a gastric flu type thing, or a gastric type fever.
should I say. No coughing. And that's it really. Just be careful. Once again, this is what I took. I'm guessing you can get it from the pharmacy, the drugstores, pharmacists. <clears throat> and it's nothing strange, I mean, if you think about it, even back home where you come from, you're going to get sick. Maybe in the winter time, you'll get a virus or whatever. But like I say here, it's this kind of fever. So my temperature went up to 38.44. It's gone down now. I think it's, it's back to normal. So it seemed that once I'd vomited, I felt a lot better. And that's it. Take care.